Welcome to Get Paid for Your Pad, the definitive show on Airbnb hosting, featuring the best advice on how to maximize profits from your Airbnb listing, as well as real life experiences from Airbnb hosts all over the world. Welcome. Get paid for your pad. 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 This episode is brought to you by Hostfully, a company that helps you make beautiful guidebooks for your listing. Make your own at hostfully.com slash pad. And as a special for Get Paid for Your Pad listeners, you'll get a free guidebook consultation after you make your guidebook. Welcome everyone to episode 115 of Get Paid for Your Pad. And first of all, I want to uh, wish everybody a happy new year. I hope you had a great party and I hope that you'll have a very successful 2017 when it comes to Airbnb hosting, but also when it comes to everything else in your life. Uh, today, I have a very special guest, a very famous guest, and she lives in Shanghai and her name is Mina. So Mina, welcome to the show. Hello, everybody. Thanks, Jasper, for inviting me to the show. I wish everybody Happy New Year and hope everybody um, can have a fulfilled, successful, happy New Year. Every Everything will come true. Every wishes will come true. Awesome. And just to be clear, we're, we are recording this the day before Christmas. And uh, Mina is about to have a, a great party in, uh, in Shanghai. We were just video chatting a little bit before we were recording this, and she has a nice uh, Christmas decoration uh, on her hat. <laughs> it looks very cool. <laughs> what do you? Uh, what kind of party do you have, Mina? Um, so it's just a friends gathering. We are going to celebrate Christmas Eve together and have some friends that are cooking, preparing the food for everybody. So I don't know what to expect, but I think it's going to be awesome. That's great. That's great. And now you don't have to cook because you know you have an excuse because <laughs> you have to talk to me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let me first uh, explain to everybody why you're so famous. Well, if you go to airbnb.com slash trust, then you will get to a page. And about uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a picture of Mina. And it says, we make it easy to get to know hosts like Mina. And there's a picture of you. And I think you're actually cooking in the picture. Yes, I used when I just start Airbnb. I prepare a welcome dinner for all my guests. It's free. Ah, that's, <laughs> Everybody loves me. <laughs> that's great. Well, we're going to talk a lot about that because Mina has been a super host for nine quarters in a row, and you you told me you're the only person in China who's been a super host for nine quarters in a row. So that is pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. And that's because you, you make all your, your guests very happy, as you, you've told me. And, you know, of course, we all want to know, how do you do that? And, and so one of the things you do is you, you prepare a welcome dinner for your guests. Yeah. So you must be a, a good cook. Yeah. When, uh, when I was working for Nestle, uh, all my clients are five-star hotel chef, chef. So they teach me how to cook. Ah, that's very useful. Yeah. So do you, let's talk about your listing. Do you rent out an entire place or do you rent out a, a room? I have different listings. Some I rented out its entire home and some I rented out its private room. Okay. But when you rent out an entire home, do you, do you cook your guest dinner in, in that house or do you invite them somewhere else? Uh, usually I don't cook now, but if my guest requests, I can do that for them. But um, right now, most of my guests, they pre prefer to have some private time if they travel as a group. Uh, okay, right. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what's, what else do you do? How did you manage to to uh, get such great reviews? She, Mina just showed me her uh, an, uh, an email she got from Airbnb. She's gotten... 87% five-star reviews over 125 trips over the last few years. And you started hosting when? 
uh, August uh, 2013. August uh, 2013. October. October 2013, October. right? So you've yes. been hosting for uh, for over two years, more than two years, around three years, I guess. Oh yeah, you're right. I guess my uh, <laughs> I just woke up, <laughs> so my uh, yeah. calculation skills are a little subpar at the at the moment. It's okay. Sorry about that. Three years, indeed. Uh, that's a long time, and you must have been yeah. one of the first people. Uh, were you one of the first people in China to rent out an Airbnb yeah. or? Yeah, I'm one of those early birds. <laughs> how did you How did you find out about Airbnb? I once met a friend um, at a Starbucks, and he's from um, California, and he told me about Airbnb. At that time, I planned to move to a new apartment. I was searching for a new apartment. Then I found out it's a great idea. If I rent out a room on Airbnb, it may cover all my, my rent, and I can live in a nice apartment in the city center. So that's why I want to start Airbnb, and it changed my life entirely. Very afterwards. cool. Very cool. Yes. What is there any regulation with regards to Airbnb in, in Shanghai at all, or? Um, uh, you know, Airbnb China company just uh, established recently, and I found there are more and more re regulations. But now it's very flex. It's there are not many strict um, regulations now. We haven't heard anything from Airbnb that we cannot do anything yet. Right. And when you rented out your uh, your first Airbnb, you, you say you were you were renting it long term. Did your did your landlord was it was he okay or was she okay with it? I truly didn't know. <laughs> you didn't tell them, huh? Yeah, because I lived inside as well. So I think it's okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I mean it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious because some people some people tell their landlords and some people don't. Um, no, I no, I would tell my landlord because at the beginning nobody, you no, know, even my friends who received a, a higher education overseas, many of them they don't they didn't know Airbnb at that time, and most of my landlords they are very they are a little bit old, and so they are not that modern or fashionable. And so it's easier to just tell them I'm going to live inside. Otherwise, it would make them feel confused. Okay, right. I got it. And how many listings are you looking after now? Are they are these all listings that you rent out yourself, or are they also places that are owned by other people who who you know you help to manage their their units or both? Um, I have. Uh, right now, I have three locations. I once had like more than seven locations, but now I only I just uh, narrow down because I want to adjust my strategy and my business model in the future. So now I only have three locations, and two I rent them uh, from the owner and sublease on Airbnb, and one villa I help the owner to manage on Airbnb. Okay, I see, I see. And what about the place where you live yourself? But do you rent that mm -hmm. one out on Airbnb when you're traveling or? Um, I just moved to a new apartment and it's a two bedroom apartment. And I was, I will take one and the other one I also listed on Airbnb. And I just one room. Yeah. So my guests will stay with me. Got it. Got it. So, um, Mina, you've been a super host for nine quarters. So, you know, that's a great accomplishment and you must be doing a lot of things, right? And I'm sure everybody wants to learn from you. So can you tell us, can you explain us, can you give us the secrets of how to do such a good job, how to be such a good host that you get such good reviews? Sure. Um, there are three things I want to focus on. And the first one is always think ahead from your guest. Be considerate on everything, detail oriented. Like if, um, once my guests book their reservation, I will reply their message immediately. And then I will tell them, I will send them a checking guide three days prior to their arrival day. And I will provide everything they need in the PDF, every information they need to make them feel that they are secured. That's the first thing think ahead and be considerate. The second one is always be with your guests because some listings I don't live there. 
So I hope my guests know that I will always be around whenever they need me, make them feel they are secure and there's someone always will be there to take care of them. And third, um, it's very important to interact with your guests. If they want my help, I will help them immediately. And if they want to hang out with me, I will find time to hang out with them. And uh, if they have any, if they need anything, I'll just do my best to help them. I think um, those are the secret stars I have. Awesome. And, Thank you. And how do you know if uh, if guests want to hang out with you or, or not? Can you can you tell or do you ask them? I would I, I would tell them as I would because all my listings are very uh, close to my home. And I will share my schedules to them. And uh, I will also tell them if they want to hang out with me, they can invite me whenever they want. And then I will find time for them. Right. And, yeah. and you have, do you have a, a full-time job? Yes, I have a full-time job. And how do you I combine? A, how can you how how do you combine that? Because I, you know, I imagine that uh, if if you're working all day, then how how can you make time for your guests? I think the first, uh, the most important thing is make sure everything is taken care of before my guests arrive. Like I have many kind of sweet notes at the apartments to guide the guests how to use the apartments. So. And also, I would check the property every time before the guests arrive. So everything with the apartment is okay. So first of all, make sure they will have a comfortable stay. And then if they have questions, they can contact me through WeChat or emails or calls anytime they want. And I'm a, I'm a salesperson, so there are more flexibility with my job. I think that's another reason I can do this well okay right so you're you're because you're working real estate correct yes i work in the industry okay so so that means that you know you're you're often uh you're on the road visiting different places and then yes. you can make you know you, if there's something uh that you need to attend to you can just take like half an hour or something and then you know go see your guest yes got it you mentioned something about writing notes that sounds interesting. Yes. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure. At first, I would prepare a house manual to my guest, tell them um, like how to use the air conditioner, TV, and a coffee maker, everything in the apartment. So, and then um, like in many corners, I would also provide those like the Wi-Fi information and also. Uh, like where is the shoe shelf and like some kind of reminders on the bathroom and whatever that they, I think they need to know about the property. And like, um, like some of my properties, there, there were some problems I cannot solve. Uh, like, uh, there's a smell in the bath, in the bathroom of one of my property. And then, but I know how to deal with that problem if my guests know how to use it. So I'll just put a note in the bathroom so they know it. Just many details about the properties. And are, are these like like little post-it notes or, or do you stick these on the wall or? Um, yeah, I stick them on the wall or I'll put them in a photo frame. Okay, you put them in a the photo like, frame. All right, and these are, hand, yeah. are these handwritten? No, <laughs> just print them out but print with them nice out. photos. But with nice photos. Okay, right. I yeah. See. Okay. Very cool. Host, I can't emphasize how important it is to share recommendations of things to do or eat near your listing beforehand. Your guests won't have to go through TripAdvisor, Foursquare, or Yelp. They won't have to scratch their head and think about possible places right in the moment. I've been using Hostfully to create an online and printable guidebook to show my guests my favorite coffee places in Amsterdam. They use my recommendations and I'm getting fewer questions from my guests as a result. I've also included screenshots of my guidebook on my Airbnb listing as a way to differentiate my listing from others. So make your own guidebook at hostfully.com slash pad. And uh, by the way, uh, me and Mina, we met at the, uh, at the Airbnb Open in uh, Los yes. Angeles uh, last month, yes. the big, yes. the big Airbnb event. Uh, how did you, how did you like it? 
I love it. I enjoy Airbnb Open a lot. It's my third Airbnb Open already. Your third、I、Airbnb went, Open. Third, yes, I went to the first one. <laughs> I'm so proud of it. <laughs> you went to the first Airbnb Open. That was that must have been in 2013. Was that in 2014? 2014 in San Francisco. Yeah, I went to、it's、that one、amazing. too. It's amazing. Oh really? Yeah, I went. To I think it's、one. the best. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah, it was great. Well, back then it was、uh, it was a little bit smaller, and so yeah, it was、uh, closer. It was a little bit more uh, um, intimate, I guess.、Uh, the, yeah. the the conference, like、uh, the founders, they would just be, walk around. You could just grab them and say, "Hey, what's up?" Whereas now, you know, they're just security guards, and they're you know they're, <laughs> they're only on stage and. So、yeah. it, it it was very different、uh, back then, and you went to the one in Paris too. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And where where do you think it's going to be next year? I think it's going to be Australia. You think it's going to be Australia? Interesting. No, yeah, like last year、um, when, I, when we were in Paris, many people think it's going to be in Australia, Melbourne, or Sydney. I don't know, but. I don't look forward to travel to Australia because I haven't been there. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's a lot of kangaroos. Yeah, you know when you go for,、uh, from one place to another, instead of taking a taxi, you just jump on the back of a kangaroo. It's very cool. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, not <It's> really. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't look I don't, forward to that. <laughs> I don't think I've only been once. I did see a lot of kangaroos, but I don't know if you can use them as transport transportation. <laughs> But you know what I you know what I heard about、uh, the Airbnb Open. I'm not.、Yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to share this or not. But、uh, hopefully, the person that told me isn't listening. But、uh, I heard that they're gonna do it once every two years, and they're gonna have、uh, smaller local events in the years that they、okay. don't do the big, you know, a big one. So maybe in 2017. And this is just、mm-hmm. speculation on my behalf. This is not、uh, not confirmed, but、uh, potentially in 2017 they'll just have smaller meetings. So you know maybe they have one in New York or one and one in in London and one in、uh, somewhere in Asia. Maybe maybe in Shanghai, and they have one in Australia. But these are smaller ones. And then、mm-hmm. in 2018 maybe there will be another big one, or maybe they do another big one in 2017, and then in 2018 they'll have the smaller events. Right, that's heard, what I heard. I heard they are going to, um, like do the events one year in USA, one year outside USA. So next year, I think it's going to be in somewhere outside. Right. Yeah. USA. Yeah. So my initial thought was to do it in London, because、mm-hmm. you know, so far they they went San Francisco, then they went Paris, which is the biggest Airbnb market in the in Europe. And then they went to Los Angeles. I don't know why they skipped New York. I think New York is the biggest market in、uh, in the U.S., but they have a lot of problems there. And then,、yeah. um, but then in Europe, the second biggest Airbnb market is London. So I figured that would be like a sort of a logical choice. But I think Airbnb should travel outside of Europe and also United States and come to Asia Pacific. Absolutely, APEC. So、right. that's why I guess it's going to be in Australia because if it comes to China, many people need to apply visa,、uh, if it, and also the language barriers. So、mm-hmm. I think Australia is the best choice for them if they want to move、right. to、Asia. APEC. APEC and APEC stands for Asia <laughs> Pacific, right? Yeah. Okay. Just for just for those who were confused, I wasn't sure exactly what it meant, <laughs> but.、Uh, <laughs> But yeah, okay, that's very cool. And what are your plans、uh, for Airbnb? Are you going to expand? Are you going to do more listings, or are you, are you just going to do the free that you have right now? I think I will stay at my current scale for a while. I have three locations now, and they are like ten rooms, and I'm happy with、um, the current scale because if I have more listings, I have more guests at one time. I have less time to spend my time with my guests and get to know more about them. So I prefer now. I want to spend more time and get to know more about my guests. So I may not expand. Right. You want to? Yeah. You want to keep the operation small so that you can you can、um, you have time for to spend time with each individual guest. And yeah,、um, you know, that's and that's one of the things that you think is very important in order、yeah. to、uh, to be a great host, right? Yes. 
Absolutely. And I'm happy with my current full-time job. That's very cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, for for joining me uh, on this podcast. It was a it was a pleasure to interview you, and congratulations with all your accomplishments uh, in in Airbnb. Thanks you too. It's my pleasure to share my expertise. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, uh, for all the listeners, I have a, a quick announcement because uh, I'm very happy to announce that from starting 2017, so this week, I will launch two podcast episodes every week. So instead of the regular episode uh, on Monday, I'm also going to do a an episode that I will publish on Thursdays. And in those episodes, I'll be discussing the news that came out around Airbnb. So all of the different things that, uh, that are going on in the Airbnb world. And I'll be discussing this news with, uh, with, either with experts or I'll be talking to one of the team members of Hostfully, you know, the app that you can use to uh, provide really awesome guidebooks and also the sponsor of this podcast episode. And so uh, each uh, week I will talk with a different team member and we'll, we'll go through all the different headlines so that you can stay updated on what's going on in the, in the world of Airbnb. So every Thursday you can listen to the podcast episode. It'll be about 30 minutes or so. And that way you still, you'll always be updated. And the episodes on Monday will still the same. It's, it's either going to be me interviewing a host or, you know, somebody who does something in the Airbnb ecosystem or it's just be me talking by myself sometimes i feel like i have a lot of stuff to say so then i just you know i just sit at the table and i put my microphone up and i talk by myself so that's uh, i'm pretty excited about this uh i hope you like it and if you have any feedback uh, always welcome to hear it uh, just send me an email at jesper at getpaidforyourpet.com and then again uh, i want to wish you uh, an awesome 2017 with lots of success uh, it will be a big year for me because uh if you haven't heard it yet, I'm in the process of setting my house and uh, reinvesting the money in the, in several uh, smaller or cheaper apartments, should I say, uh, all around the world. I'm uh, I'm looking at the Colombia, I'm looking at Chile, I'm looking at Vietnam. Me and Mina were actually talking about Vietnam. Uh, you think Vietnam is a great place to invest, right? Yes, I think it's uh, going to be a popular market in the world. Right. That's, I think so too. And they just opened up the real estate market uh, recently. So you can expect a lot of foreign income to flow in in the next few years. So kind of want to be ahead yes. of that. Uh, and my plan is to be ahead of that curve and uh, scoop something up quickly uh, before it goes crazy and it turns into a new Shanghai. Yeah. <laughs> in 10 years, it's going to be the next Shanghai. It's going to be the next Shanghai, right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, Mina, thanks a lot. And uh, Everybody who's listening, thanks for listening. And we'll uh, see you, uh, well, on Thursday, there's going to be another episode. So hopefully you'll see you then. Airbnb hosts in the US who want to maximize their profit, pay attention because Everbooked can help you do this. Everbooked provides nightly optimized pricing, a comparison tool that shows you where your competition is at, and a market reports tool that gives you the bigger picture and tells you where the best places are to invest. Sign up now for Everbooked and use code GPFYP to get the first three months for free. Get paid for your pet. 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 Get paid for your pet.